Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this beginner level Wipeout inspired parkour course. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this one. I have had this request loads and loads and loads, so I finally decided to do one. This is a very simple parkour course. Even I could do it, except for the last one. I really do have trouble with those jumps, but I'm sure that most of you guys would be able to complete this, maybe even on your first try. If you guys do enjoy this video, if you enjoy the course, then I would be tempted to make a bigger, longer, more difficult version of this very same course. So please let me know whether you'd be interested in seeing that by hitting that like button. I would really appreciate it if you do want to see another one of these, but harder, but better, faster, stronger, then please do hit that like. Show this video some love. I'd really appreciate it. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make it. It's really, really easy. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some blue concrete, light blue concrete, white concrete, red concrete, ladders, water, we need some slime blocks, blue carpet, and some red carpet, and we also need some sticky pistons, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, and some ice. And that's pretty much everything. If you want to use different colours, then feel free to grab different concretes or wood or whatever the case may be for whatever you want to make this place out of. So, this area or this parkour course will fit into a 25 block that's coming across by a 64 long block area in your world. So it is quite long, but it's not as massive as you might think. Make sure that you've got enough room to make it, and once you're sure, we're going to start off the course by placing a row of 13 light blue concrete in a row on the floor. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to mark out this 13th block by placing a concrete coming inwards, but then we're going to go right of this 13th block by an additional 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. From this 12th block, we're going to move upwards by 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're going to mark out the 20, 21st block by placing a light blue concrete going left. And then we're going to extend that 21st block upwards again by 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Move that 21st block to the left by 1. And then continue counting by another 21. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We then want to go left of this 21st block by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Move that 12th block inwards by one block. Then continue counting left by a further 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And extend that 20 or that 12th block all the way towards where you very first started. You just want to keep extending it and extending it. And if you've got the measurements right, you will find that you will connect all the way back to where you very first started. So you will end up with a shape that should look exactly like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to connect all of these blocks that we have sticking out together. So we're going to take this block and we're going to run it all the way up the middle. So we want to split this area in half. It should be very easy to figure out which blocks you have to extend and connect together because of course we are literally just split in half and we do have the blocks marked out. So we want to have something which should look like this. We then want to take the other two blocks that stick out and we want to extend them across the parkour course like this we want to extend them across the parkour course like this that's one and then we want to do the other one as well so we just want to extend them coming across the parkour course like this and what this reminds me of for some reason is a bar of chocolate got no idea why chocolate isn't even blue or at least none that i've ever had and this is what we want to have so there you go that's the shape now what are we going to do next? So, the starting point for your parkour course is whichever end you've chosen, this is the starting point for my end, is the right hand side. So, right here. And what we're going to do 
is we are going to find in this rectangular area that we have right here we're going to find the middle block so on the end this middle block right here and on top of this we're going to place a white concrete and we're going to go left of it by three one two three and right by three one two three and you'll know if it's in the center because you'll have three blocks either side like one two three and that's the rectangle and then on the other side one two three you'll have three blocks either side then what we're going to do is we are going to extend the row of white concrete towards us and we're going to do that by taking the five middle blocks that's the one two three four five basically one off each end and we're going to extend them on the opposite side as well one two three four five and we're going to take the row of three in the middle, one, two, three, and the row of three in the middle on the back, one, two, three, just to create kind of like a, it's kind of a circle shape, but it's more of an oval. We're then going to connect all of the white concrete blocks downwards, the ones that we can at the very least, like this, like that. And then we're going to place a layer of blue concrete directly on top of this. So we just want to have this pattern right here we just want to have those rows of white with the blue on top we want to take the very ends of the platform which is this end and this end the two sticky out parts and we want to place three red coming up one two three from each end that is one two three we want to extend them inwards then up inwards creating an archway we then want to find a way to actually get up to the platform from the outside. So we're just going to dig out enough blocks to make a staircase like this. Perfect. And underneath any white blocks that have light blue concrete underneath them, we're going to destroy them and place some white concrete. So there we go. We now have a starting point. We also want to have a finishing point, which I think is a good time to place this. Um, if we come to the left hand side now if we take this rectangular shape and if we take the um seven middle block so we we want to take the the middle block right which is this one we want to place a white on top of it same thing that we've done over there we're doing the same thing and we want to extend this block left and right by three one two three one two three make sure you have three blocks either side of the rectangle which we do we then want to place on top of this we well, I mean, what we want to do, actually, is we want to extend it towards us. By one row, we want to take the five middle blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then three. One, two, three. And then we want to do the same on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. We want to join all of these down to the ground using our white concrete, like this. Then we're going to place a layer of blue concrete directly on top of the white to create a pat platform like this. There we go, I almost called it a platform. We have to be able to get onto our platform, so do remember to dig out a staircase like this. And then we're just going to have a nice archway, and on the left-hand side and right-hand side, we're going to build up each by three. One, two, three with the red concrete. One, two, three. We're going to extend the fur blocks inwards on top and in so we just want to have something which should look like that so that is the start well that's the exit and that is the start perfect so now that's done we can start working on some of the obstacles so remember where the middle block of the starting entrance platform is it's or it's this this is the middle it's very important to most of the uh, most of the obstacles that we know where the middle is so from the center of this platform we want to moving across we want to leave a gap of three in the ground one two three we then want to place a white concrete then leave a gap of four one two three four white concrete then a gap of four one two three four then a white concrete and then you only want to leave a gap of three so one two three Place a white concrete, extend it left and right, destroy all of the light blue behind it, and then an extra on either side, and place white concrete there instead. Take the middle blocks, extend them across the back to create this shape. Place white concrete directly on top of this, with blue concrete on top of the white, like that. 
We're then going to place an additional white concrete on top of every white concrete with red concrete on top of the white. We're then going to extend the red concrete in every direction to create a slightly bigger platform. If you want to make this perhaps a little bit more difficult, then you would simply just not even bother extending the red concrete. So the first obstacle is just very simply a nice easy run across there, but what could be made harder if you did want to. And just in case we fail, we're going to place a row of ladders leading back up to the entrance. That's obstacle one. Let's move on to obstacle two. Obstacle two is a little bit more complicated both to make and to get past. So once again, we're going to leave a gap of two between the platform, the middle of the platform specifically, and the next obstacle. So leave a gap of two. Then place three white concrete going right. One, two, three. Extend it left and right by one, like this. Then upper row. Add blue on top, like this, so we've created a pretty big, big platform. If you wanted to make it harder, you would simply knock a couple of rows off the platform. Then we want to, leaving a gap of two from the middle of the platform, we want to leave a gap of two in the ground, one, two, and then we want to place ourselves a row of nine white concrete going right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. That is nine. And then we want to add an additional row on top. Then a row of blue concrete. Then extend the row of blue towards you by one row. And then extend the blue backwards by four rows. One, two, three, and four. So this is what you want to have so far for a platform. Now we're going to make a little bit of redstone. It is not my speciality, so this may be a bit sloppy and you may be able to do it better than me. You probably will. So we want to take this row of the platform, leaving two rows that we can actually like move across. We want to take this row of the platform and we want to place four rows of blue on top. One row of blue, two, three, and then four, just like that. So we now have four rows, just like that. We then want to, behind this, we want to place an entire row of blue concrete coming outwards of the second, like this row. We want to place a row of blue. And then add another row coming outwards. We want to, above this platform that we've just made, starting from the left, we want to go right, knock out a block. Go right, place a blue. We want to place, coming out of this block, we're going to get a bit redstone-y now. We're going to place a redstone torch here on the left of the block, facing towards us. We're going to place a redstone repeater on the last tick. And we are going to then, we don't have redstone dust. How could I possibly forget that? We need redstone dust. I'm sure you guys figured that out. We want to place redstone dust all the way around the repeater. And we want to extend this redstone dust that comes directly out of the repeater to the right by one. Then we want to place a blue concrete. Then a red torch, a redstone torch facing towards us and to the right. And we want to knock out this block just right here. So we want to have this. We then want to place uh, sticky pistons in the two gaps that we've left, like this. We want to place sticky pistons in the two gaps. We then want to place another piston. We're going to place a piston in... Uh, let me make sure that the position is correct because I don't want to get it wrong. We're going to place a piston in this position and it should work. There we go. And we're going to have a static red concrete here. We're also going to want to place red concretes coming outwards from the sticky pistons. So... Um, if we just want to play some blocks like this that the pistons can grip on... Okay, okay, we might have to stop the pistons for a second then. Um, they, they don't really want to... Uh, they don't want to co cooperate, so I'm going to destroy that. And that, and they should no longer be powered. Although that bottom one is, isn't it? So I'm just going to break the circuit because I can't place them. So I'm going to place a red here, here, 
in here on the outward faces of the pistons and I'm just going to chuck a torch here, here, and I'm going to repair it here, like that. So that's what we have to work with. I'm going to add another round of blue concrete on top of the platform like this, just so that we've doubled up on it a little bit. And the jump will be a little bit harder because you've got to jump upwards, just like that. And then the way that we get past this is, of course, we've got to very carefully time our way past the pistons. We've got to jump up on this one, then on this one, and then we'll be able to hit the platform on this opposite side. We're now going to just fill this in, this big area that we've made right here. We're just going to fill in all around the redstone because we don't want it to be exposed. And we're just going to place ourselves some blue concrete just to fill it in. It can be covered up with absolutely anything. You could even make a nice pattern around it if you wanted to. But that's what we want to have, ladies and gentlemen. We want to, uh, we want to have that. That is what I like to call the punching machine. I'm not sure what you'd actually call it, though. But there we are. Now, let's create the platform. So the platform that we're going to be jumping on is going to be very similar to the previous one. It's right in the middle of the rectangle. So we're going to knock out this middle block and then left and right by, uh, by two. One, two, one, two. Gonna replace that with white concrete like this. We're going to extend the three middle blocks outwards in both directions. Then we're going to add, how many rows should we add on top of this? Let, let's add ourselves, let's say, we don't want to be able to jump onto it. So maybe like one, two, three rows. Let's make that four. And then we will absolutely 100% need the, uh, we'll need the boost from the piston to actually uh, get up on top of this platform because that's what we have to do. We, we don't want to be able to just jump directly from there. Then we're going to place a row of blue concrete. So the goal of this is that we do need to actually be placed up on top of this piston right here to, whoops, <laughs> I'm so bad at parkour, but we have to be able to be on top of this piston to get there and we don't want to be able to just like jump up like that. So that's why that has to be that high. Perfect. Let's move on to the next obstacle. So the next obstacle, we are going to leave a gap of three in the ground from the middle of this platform. One, two, three. We're then going to place a white concrete. We're going to leave a gap of three. One, two, three. White concrete. Then a gap of three. One, two, three. White concrete. Like this. This white concrete, we're going to extend it to the right and left by two. One, two. One, two. We're going to place a red concrete in the middle here with blue concrete either side of the red. Like that. Actually, do we want to make this one block? Uh, uh, you know what? What we'll do is we'll add another row of white concrete on top of this, and then we'll add the red concrete in the middle, blue concrete either side. We then want to extend this right-hand blue concrete up by one. We then want to move backwards from this sticky upper block by five. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to move across the parkour course by four. One, two, three, four. We then want to do three upright diagonals going this way. So that's one, two, three. We then want to go right by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then want to extend this ninth block towards the front by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to place coming down from this to the right. We're going to place bottom right diagonal, right by two, upright diagonal. We're then going to move in by two, one, two. We're then going to move right by five, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do three bottom right diagonals. Then that's one, two, and that'll be three, like that. Then we're going to move that third block towards us by one. So this is the sort of shape that we've got. We now want to fill the bottom of this in using blue concrete. So, simply one row below all of the blocks, we want to place blue concrete underneath the empty space. So just one row below. It's, it's very easy to do. You guys will be able to see what we're doing. We want to just have a nice platform underneath all of this, just like this. Let me see, like that. So we're, that's, that's what we're sort of looking for. 
We're now going to clean it up a little bit in that we're going to place some white concrete underneath the first part just to make it like it just makes it look a bit cleaner honestly so so maybe even like going as far as maybe maybe we just like clean it up by uh by messing up these edges a little bit and then maybe we put some where what can we do here so we can place some white concrete underneath this just to once again just to make it look a bit cleaner this is all about looks this particular part like this we're just going to place some white underneath here and then some blue underneath these parts like that and then we're just going to place some white concrete you could just absolutely leave it as it is we're going to place some more blue concrete underneath like next to the platform we'll actually place some more blue concrete next to the platform like this just to kind of like reinforce it because it, it's looking a bit messy to me like that and then we're going to kind of just like reinforce it a little bit more especially um where the staircasey part is like that so yeah that's that's actually looking all right and what we also need to have, by the way, I, I need to add it on a previous part, is we need to have a staircase area that will lead us back up to um, this part should we fail the challenge. So we're going to place a row of white concrete coming upwards from the end of this middle block, and it's just going to have ladders running all the way up. If you want to make it look a bit fancier, then you could also place some uh, blue concrete like left and right of it like that maybe. That, uh, that actually looks a little bit weird, maybe like a white there, just uh, just so that it, uh, it works a bit better. Yeah, that looks alright. And we also need to place some ladders coming up here, and also here. So like, at the beginning of every single challenge, we want to have the ladders, like that. Cool. So, when it comes to this part here, where we have these two single white uh, white concretes, we're going to just place a red concrete on top of the first one. And then we're going to, actually we might make that a bit taller. Maybe we'll place a couple of white concrete like that, then a red. And then on this last one, we'll place just a red concrete, because I think we can make this jump. <laughs> I can't make any jumps, apparently, but... Oh my god, what, what is wrong with me? Yeah, can you make that jump? Am I crazy? If you can make this jump, if you're not- I can't do it. I actually cannot do it. Yeah, okay, so you can make that jump. So we want it to actually be accomplished. You can jump from there to there, from there to there, and then you can jump onto this platform. And this area here is actually going to be a little bit of an obstacle course. We're going to place red concretes around the top area here that you've got to, like, weave through. In this sort of formation, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. We have to weave through these. And then we're going to place some white concretes with some red concretes coming up the stairs. Once again, in kind of like a formation that you kind of got to, like, dodge around and duck around like this. And maybe even we place, like, a red concrete here, like, right in the center. That might work. And what we also want to do is we want to have running water. We actually want to have water starting from, like, the top here. Coming down from this. That we've, like, got to negotiate through. Like, we've got to navigate through. It's kind of hard. You've got to push past it. Um, it slows you down a bit. We might even have to dig a little bit of, uh... Yeah, we, we have to dig, like, a... A bit of a, um... Like, a well in here just so that the water has somewhere to drain to. Um, I think I might have to... Yeah, I've got to replace the water, though, because otherwise it won't drain properly. And it should just drain into these blocks. Um, I don't want it to drain into there, but it should hopefully drain just into there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that, that's that's exactly what we're looking for. So that's good. So you make these jumps, which I, I've done once already, and then we hop up through this water. No! Nah. God, you've got to really fight against the current, and we're here. Perfect. And then we have to jump from this point. There's going to be a bit of a bounce. So the way that we're going to do this is from where the ladders are, we're going to leave a gap of two in the ground. One, two. We're then going to place a white concrete, followed by we're going to place free slime. One, two, three. We're then going to place a white concrete, we're going to extend the middle slime towards us and away. We're going to place white concrete all around the slime like this. And we're going to place ourselves red carpet in the center and blue everywhere else. Then the platform is going to be three blocks away 
One, two, three. We're then going to place a white concrete, extend it left and right, destroy the light blue behind it, destroy an extra block, place the white, take the middle three, extend them towards you like this. Then we're going to add just one more row on top, like that. And then a row of blue. And I'm positive you can make this jump because I've made it before when, uh, when I was designing the original. So, the idea, of course, is that we just jump down and we... Oh, first time! And we bounce onto this. Feel free to make it more difficult by placing the platform further away. Or perhaps even further down in the ground would also increase difficulty. But there we go, that's that's actually a nice big chunk of the parkour course done. And that's all the hard parts as well. Um, so the next two parts that we have to make, very, very easy indeed to make, um, maybe a bit harder to do. We want to take the middle of this platform, this one that we've just made, and we want to leave a gap of four in the ground. One, two, three, four. Then we want to place a white concrete. Gap of four, one, two, three, four, white concrete. Gap of four, one, two, three, four, white concrete. And then we want to leave a gap of one, two, three. Place a white concrete, left and right by one, straw the blocks behind, add an additional block either side, and extend it coming out the back. We then want to add a layer of white concrete directly on top of this, and perhaps then just a layer of blue concrete. It might even extend the height of the platform afterwards. Uh, we have to add ladders to this part of the course so that we can get back. And now, this is supposed to vaguely emulate the, like, the big red balls that people bounce on. So, like, this first one, this first one, I'm just going to add one white on top, a red concrete. I'm going to extend the red concrete outwards in every direction, and then I'm going to place one on top. So, it's a little bit ball-like. Maybe this is kind of an easy jump to make. Then this next one, which is going to be the middle one, we're going to add, say, like, three. Will this work? One, two, three, white. We're going to add a red. We're going to move that red out in every single direction like this. And then we're going to add one on top. So will we be able to make this jump? I think we will. It might be a hard jump, but I think it's actually possible. If it's not, then we will have to adjust it. I mean, this is supposed to be like an easy parkour course. It's oh, you can make the jump. The jump is possible. Wonderful. So we now want to jump from this one onto just a little tiny ball like this. Just a little tiny ball. And this is supposed to be kind of like a harder jump. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make the platform just another row higher. Because it is, it is supposed to be a bit of a harder jump. So... Yeah, like that. That's I know that that's possible. That must be possible. Like, yeah, there we go. So that's supposed to be a bit of a harder jump. So basically, it's it's kind of like a harder version of the first platform, pretty much, or the first challenge. And we've just seen that all of that's possible, so I'm not going to repeat that because I might not be able to do it. Um, now, let's move on to this last one. First, we're just going to add a row of ladders here that will allow us to climb back up to the platform should we fail, which I will. And now we have to add one of my least personal favorite challenges, the ice challenge. So we're going to use white concrete and ice. This is going to be a bit randomized, so I want you guys to do this for yourselves. We're going to place a few random white concrete is moving towards the end of the platform and we want the last platform to be a four block jump but we do want it to be fair so we want to have four blocks in between the last platform and the finish it does want to be fair we can even add like a little bit of a buzzer maybe like a red concrete and we could even add like perhaps like a uh, like a button on top of it i i never thought about that before i want that actually is there another way? Will you will you place another? Okay, I, I thought that I might be able to place it a different way. It doesn't matter. But yeah, we want to have a few different uh, a few different options, a few different white concretes to jump to like this. So place them all scattered about, and then you've got to personally figure out how hard you want to make it. So maybe this first one, it's, you've got a bit of a drop onto the ice. Maybe then we have to jump up a little bit, and then maybe add a couple of ices that you don't expect anybody to jump onto like this. And then maybe have like another ice here. 
and then maybe add a couple of white concrete here and then maybe one there something like that you guys get the idea so we just want to let's see if this is possible so i've just done that randomly right i've just done that randomly i've, I've not i've not calculated anything so we jump onto this one and then i bet we could even jump onto this one and then I, I don't think i can get onto that one so if i jump onto this one and then this one i'm not sure that's possible actually so can we can we jump perhaps onto that one or is it too high that might be too high so i'll tell you what if we lower maybe we lower that to there and then we should be able to jump onto that one that looks possible to me yeah so we can jump onto that and then we could either jump directly okay okay so so oh hmm yeah, okay. I mean, it's that's not that hard. So we so the way that we've just done it, we've jumped onto here. And then we'd be able to jump onto here. And then we jump onto here, and then that doesn't seem that difficult to me to just jump from there. So is there a way to make that perhaps a bit harder? So if we make it so that we've got to jump onto this one to the left of us, that increases the difficulty perhaps a little bit and perhaps if we made this a little bit higher maybe like that then that would be a little bit harder and then we'd have to jump down onto that one and then we could just jump straight onto that one so i don't want to spend loads and loads of time on this but you're going to want to keep varying it you're going to want to keep messing about with it until you have a course that is sufficiently difficult. That's hard enough for me. I'm pretty bad at parkour, so that, that'd be enough to stop me in my tracks. And then, all we'd have to do is, once we get to this, we have to make a four-block jump, which I'm pretty sure is the maximum amount of distance you can jump, I think, from, like, one platform to another. So, and I think it... I, I'm sure it's possible, right? Like, you can just jump straight... For, well, yeah, so it is possible because you can just jump from there to here. So it's just it's just a hard jump. If you can, because I don't know if you can, place an ice to increase the difficulty even more, then feel free. But I'm just going to have like red concrete to jump on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is actually the entire course, right? That's the entire course actually complete. The only thing we have to do now is make it look a little bit prettier. So the way that we would do this, very simple stuff. It's boring, though. Uh, we need white concrete and water. So, we're now going to dig out all of the grass. So, we're going to dig out all of the grass, right? It's, it's going to take ages. We'll dig out all of the grass inside the course. We'll replace the grass with white concrete. Then, we'll put water on top. Just like that. Imagine that, but absolutely everywhere. So, I'll, I'm going to go off recording. I'm going to do that. I'm going to complete that. I'm going to dig it all out, I'm going to replace it with water, and then I'm going to attempt my own parkour course. So, I'm going to get that sorted out, guys. I'll be back. I hope you guys do that as well. It makes it look a lot nicer. And then I'll be back in a second once it's all done. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the parkour course complete. As you can see, all I've done is I've dug out the grass inside of each one of the many challenges and I have replaced it with white concrete and I've chucked water on top. And that will do you. It looks very nice like that. It looks, it looks good. There's not much else that you have to do. If you want to adjust any of the stages, feel free to do that yourself. But I think it's about time that I test this out and I make sure it works. So I'm not promising now I'll finish this because I might get upset, but let's give it a go. So this is a start. Work your way up here. We've got a very easy level to do, first of all. Hopping across the mushrooms. That's challenge one complete. Challenge number two, we have the punchy punch. Uh, you, you know what? I, I already give up, but it does work. Is <laughs> Has anybody quit anything much faster than that? I, I don't want the hassle of completing this. Parkour makes me so angry. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys have a little bit more patience than me. Um, it's it's really fun. It's a great addition to your world. I, that's why I've kind of stuck it in this one at the end of my park. I think it's a nice little addition for anybody that want to give it a little bit of a go. I, it's a nice bit of fun. It's easy to make. It takes, by my estimation, a little bit less than an hour to actually put it all together. And I think it's well worth it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And do remember that if you guys do enjoy this and if you do want to see it, I'd be very interested to see whether you guys want to see it. A harder version of this. 
this. Maybe I'd add three more levels. Maybe I'd make each one a little bit harder. Maybe I'd add in some different challenges. Who knows? Who knows? You guys would have to let me know by liking the video. If you do enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button. That really helps me out as well. Make sure that you guys get all of my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to see something specific, do please comment down below. Let me know what do you want to see. Always interested to see if you guys don't want to see this. What do you want to see next? If you do want to check out any more of my stuff, you guys have been getting a very good preview of it all the way whilst I've been making this. Uh, check out the card system in the description below. I make just about everything, as you might be able to tell. Like, d literally everything. This is a pretty crazy world, honestly. There's a lot of stuff jam-packed into here. So and anything that you see, any sort of style, I make, I make more of it, basically. Check out the card system description below. Check out the cartoon builds uh, playlist if you really, really want to have some fun. Thank you so much for watching, though. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you managed to do it. Uh, hope you managed to actually complete the course. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.